today let us learn something different called reflection and rotational symmetry in familiar 2d shapes let's start look at the star of david now let's fold this figure in half you will notice that both the halves match each other exactly if you can fold a figure in half so that the two halves exactly match the figure is said to be symmetrical this kind of symmetry is called reflection symmetry the fold line is called the line of symmetry or axis of symmetry here line ag is one such line of symmetry the others are line bh line ci line dj line ek and line fl thus we say that star of david has six lines of symmetry now let's draw the lines of symmetry for the given figures figure 1 a rectangle here we can divide the figure into two equal halves by folding it vertically or horizontally thus we say a rectangle has two lines of symmetry figure 2 an apple here we cannot divide an apple into two equal halves thus an apple has no line of symmetry figure 3 letter a we can divide the letter into two equal halves by folding it vertically thus we say letter a has one line of symmetry coming to the last figure number 0 here we can divide the number 0 into two equal halves by folding it vertically or horizontally thus we say that number 0 has two lines of symmetry now look at this starfish it has five lines of symmetry these lines meet at point p this starfish can be rotated about a fixed point p this fixed point about which the starfish rotates is called its center of rotation now look at the point a when a starfish is turned to the right through point a to another point it still looks same this type of turning or rotation of a figure is called rotational symmetry now let's look at another shape hexagon when it is turned upside down point a goes down and point b comes up but hexagon looks the same this type of turning or rotation of a figure is also called rotational symmetry did you know in nature many flowers show rotational symmetry kids look at these figures they show rotational as well as reflection symmetry kids now it's time for you to practice symmetry on your own